Hello Internet, welcome back to Azels TV. Now today we are rebuilding one of my old past projects. Right, here's a situation. I made this magnetic catch to hold this door open so I could go outside and it wouldn't blow closed. But if I have the back door open as well, the wind comes through, it blows on this and it pulls you closed. So I need to make a better catch. Right, so I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to use this shape as instead to hold this closed like that. So that'll fold like that down. I can pull that out, open the door, and that'll lock in place. It'll be sprung loaded like that. I'm going to use these off cuts of wood. So I've got this and that, which will approximate the shape I need. I'm going to cut this to length. So I go. Whoop. Alright, right, here we have this, that'll go there, these bits go here, and then that all gets glued together, and then with something like this, so the door opens, that goes like that, and hooks onto the door, and we have pivot rod that goes through here like this. On to the next step. Here we go, all glued up nice. So that will mount on the wall, it will be like that. When I open the door, I'll pull this out like that, and the door will go glunk and it will lock into there, and it will. Bu -bu 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 -bu. And it'll be sprung loaded. I've got a load of springs. I'm going to use this rod as the axle. I've got this from a, visa, <laughs> a video cassette recorder. So I go, I'll draw holes in here. That go in there, and that go rip. perfect. Right, let's drill some holes. <laughs> well, hey, so rip. perfect. Let's go offer it up to the door to see if it's the size and chip and everything else we need. So I'll go there-ish. I'll pull that out like that. And that'll go like that. I'll get rid of this. Which would be this. And when it's not in use, it'll just go blink. Right, let's make a base to mount it on. Right, after much drilling and cutting and sanding, I've got this going on. So I've got this rod that's going through. these holes here into this and these holes are slightly smaller so it all moves together I'm going to have a base plate here mounted across these two that will mount to the wall like this so it will swing out it will up that and it will swing out and the doll catch on there when it's not in use and flat back again I'm going to try and have it sprung loaded so I'm going to try and have some way of pulling all this together with like one of these wrapped around his axle or something. Not exactly sure how yet, but it's a work in progress. Let's have a go. Here we are after gluing some more bits together. I've made a mistake here, so I've had to extend this out this way because it wasn't long enough to catch the door, unfortunately. Oh well. All right, I've added this here to keep these bits together. I've added this little axle here, which will engage with this spring, which will hold it closed like that. Right, let's see if we can pull all this together. It's a wee bit fiddly. But here we go.
for this spring. This is very fiddly because I've got to pre tension it. goes on the wall like that and the spring pulls it closed and that'll engage with the door so the door is like that let's see if that fits right here we go this is really fiddly to hold in place but the door opens like that and get rid of that so that hooks on there like that and when I'm done Close, bomb, sorted. Right, let's add some more wood there. Let's clean it up a bit generally. Sort this out so it's a bit nicer looking. Get rid of the excess axle and then mount it to the wall. Here we are, all glued together, got extra bits there. I've put some cocktail sticks through here and the end here to strengthen it, glue those in place. I've filleted that area there with glue and sawdust and that there. And I've put an extra bit of wood in there as well to strengthen that a little bit. Right, what I'm gonna do next is glue that onto there drill through and that can go on the wall like this and the, the aluminium part will just strengthen the whole thing mm, here we go that's glued in place drilled right through both bits let's mount that to the wall shall we Whoop. <laughs> front door catch build if you like that give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share it don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time don't forget I'll put a new video out every Tuesday sometimes on Thursday so stick around see what I'm up to next <laughs>